Welcome back to Honeycombing Through the Years with Allison and Nathan. And today we're here to get the buzz on Noah Alwell. <laughs> I was in the Echo for two years, from 2017 through 2019, my junior and senior year. Do you know why we are interviewing you today? I was told it was about the piece in the Echo that I wrote, the only piece that I ever got accepted from <laughs> me. Only... It is about that. Yes. So. It is Ava and the Night, I Will Never Forget, right? Yep, that's, yes. that's the one. I was really surprised when Vana told me you guys picked this one, because I was... <laughs> Like I said, it's the only piece that I got accepted for me, but I was also like never the hugest fan of it because I wrote it my sophomore year of high school. So I'm like, God, there's so many things that can be better about it. Going off of that, how do you think you've progressed as a writer since when you wrote this to who you are now? I think I'm just like a lot more comfortable with it. Like it, it, I wrote that in Creative Writing 1 and I really didn't have an idea of what worked well on the page. Like. That was a piece that was like more meant for me to like say in front of the entire class so I could like add those little like jokes like vocally. Um, so I, don't, I think like I'm a little better at like getting my comedy like on the page now, like my sense of humor. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's how I've improved, if I have. You wanna tell us more about any projects you've done since then? Since then, um, yeah. I mean, I'm the vice president of the FSU Film Club. I, uh, and then right now, just like personal projects I'm working on, I'm doing a lot of YouTube stuff, uh, working with like old Echo people that we're working on stuff on YouTube. And I got like a, a big like uh, online project I'm working on. Oh, yeah, and really quickly, what's your YouTube? Oh, uh, so yeah, Justin and mine's YouTube is nothing special. And then like my own channel, and that's just my name, No All Well. What was your favorite memory in the Echo? Favorite. Um, going to FSPA in 2018 when we went to the Orlando <laughs> FSPA, um, the actual convention was like whatever, like I don't really, like I said, I'm not like huge into journalism and stuff, but it was really good. That was like a really great time where we were all like at a hotel together and we really got to know each other and like, even though we had been working together and I, I consider them my friends, like that was when it was like, oh, this is like bigger than just a group of friends. This is a cult. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything in particular you miss about being in Yakko? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, it's, the Echo is a really special thing where it's like, um, it, it's like a chance to be completely yourself in every way, which is a really hard thing to have in high school, because you have all these pressures between having to do, th like, you know, you can't really be yourself in front of your parents, and you got to make sure you're not, like, getting in trouble at school and stuff. But the Echo was like a place where it was like, you you just do you and like figure out who you are and like, just like be as yourself as you possibly can be. And so like, I, I always loved that as a place to like, just test out everything that I was like thinking comedically and stuff like that. It was just a really good environment to uh, figure out who you were and like stuff like that. So I, I miss having that like, coming to room 211 every day and like, hanging out, working on writing, and then like staying around during lunch and like just hanging out with people and stuff. That's, that was a nice memory. Well, good for you. Good news for you. Um, we actually, later in the year, we're gonna be having, we're gonna be hosting our own uh, poetry cafe over Zoom. And uh, everyone's invited. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't do poetry, but I'm, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm happy to listen in. Thank no, you. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be uh, live streaming it through Instagram and also posting it through Zoom. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I was always interested. I talked to Vana every once in a while, and he was telling me about, like, I was always wondering what you guys were going to do when it came to stuff like that over <laughs> virtual. So I'm glad you guys figured something out, because that's a really great part of, like, the Echo. But before we close off this interview, is there anything, any advice you'd give to anyone just coming into creative writing? Um... I, I mean, it's just kind of like what, the, it's what Vana starts out every creative writing one class with. And uh, it's just, uh, be, it, let yourself be vulnerable. Um, if you have something that you really like, don't be afraid to chase it down. 
Um, as far as I know in life, you only get one shot at it. I don't know what's going to come afterwards. So if you find something that you love and, you know, I'm sure writing is going to be a part of it or whatever, uh, chase it down. Don't settle for something because you think it's going to be safe or whatever. Chase down what you're passionate about. Uh, don't be afraid to be you uh, and allow yourself to be comfortable and vulnerable uh, with whatever it is. Well, thank you so much for letting us interview you today. Anytime, anytime. Thanks for having me. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.